and she's among the five female warriors in this court, for instance. exercise of the helicopter against an entrenched IED maker was correct it was it was accurate because the IED man was in a building you first surrounded you from reconnaissance you knew where he was you surrounded the place with snipers and the helicopter could therefore come and uh, insert uh, people on the roof of course The terrorist had the helicopter, so you warned him, but he was cornered. The, the element of surprise you had was that he, he thought you would come through the door, but you came through the window. But at least there, there is some as Murijo was saying, there is realism, a realistic plan. That one is, is correct. But the other one of where you came with the two people on the rope, with the helicopter making a lot of noise, and you are, you are, you are dangling there, then you are shooting somebody. <laughs> See, you can bring down the whole helicopter. So please, the command, integrate what these children are learning so that we, we, you develop your own combat procedures, not just copy what uh, these trainers are telling you. The techniques are in service of a historical mission of the people of Uganda, no, no, not just cowboys and cowboys. But otherwise, it's very good that you are confident of your weapon. Confident of, of your weapon, you are, you are sure that when I fire, I will get the target. That's very, very important. Because cowardice comes because you are not sure whether you will die or survive. That's how somebody runs away, because he's not sure. Using terrain, using cover, but now also using speed, and what you call in, in instinct, but in the right context, not... not uh, I therefore congratulate you 
and uh, the CDF told you, be careful with, with your life. Don't go for alcohol. Don't go for women. Don't uh, have recreation in this corona so that you survive and you work for, for the army. I'm very uh, happy that somebody has drawn our attention to the training of CMI because you are, if people don't bring up your requirements, we have got so many things we are working on. Now that I've come here, and I thank you for inviting me to our war zone, because that's where we are fighting, where you have your camp there. And it's good that you have identified that land. I will support you to recover all the land. Those quarters must go away. But these people are adding instinct and speed. And of course, maximanship. Don't claim that because I had your instructor, Murillo, saying that you are the first to use two eyes to shoot. That's not, cor that's not correct. Because even in the old training, we emphasized high pot, high pot. You could fire from high pot, from here. You could aim, you could fire single, you could fire rapid, but you could also fire high pot. So what I'm interested in is what techniques you have now added to the high pot. My dinner, I'm home. No. Just from these techniques, you need to localize them. Don't just take all of them and you think that they would work. It's now my honor to pass out the 171 graduates in the course of counter-terrorism organized by CMY. Congratulations. The critical role played by intelligence in the success of operations cannot be overstated. Therefore, military intelligence must remain steadfast in performing its cardinal role of providing early warning on imminent threats, informing national planning, military, and military operations. Timely threat assessments to inform timely decisions on policy and strategy, and also detect, deter, or disrupt activities of hostile intelligence services and enemy subversive activities, among others. Indeed, Your Excellency, it is gratifying to note that this counter-terrorism warriors course was conducted by the first time by our own training team as the chief of, of military intelligence mentioned and this is a development that has greatly saved the minister of defense and veteran affairs and the UPDF in particular on the training budget this pass out comes at a critical time when the country is faced with not faceted threats to national security, including domestic and international terrorism, natural calamities, politically motivated violence, among others. Uh, the increased and quickly evolving ADF terror threat, as well as the Uganda Homeland Liberation Movement, 